Right, prepare for the world's fastest unboxing of Loot Crate because this is the second time I've recorded this because I fucked it up the first time. Hello and welcome to my November Loot Crate video. Yes, where have this month gone? Now, if you watch the intro, you will know that I've already opened this box and gone through it all, but for some reason the camera cut out halfway through and also I forgot to include my head in most of the shots. Here's a tea. Wasn't that exciting for everyone involved? Um, so just to quickly go over the things I mentioned before. Um, I only got the tracking email for this today. Today's Tuesday the 18th. Um, and yet I had a card through my door yesterday on the 17th saying, sorry we missed you from the Royal Mail. Last month, the return address was somewhere in Iver, which is about 15 minutes from where we are now, in Black Park. This month's return address is in Zurich, Switzerland. Now, while Switzerland is my hometown, this wasn't helpful. This wasn't helpful. Also, uh, attention looters. This crate has been designed differently. Uh, you've got to read the first page of the magazine. The first thing out of the box is not the magazine. Here's a clip. Let's have a look. I can't see the screen, so I've got no idea. Ooh. Light robot repair. <clears throat> and then there's a road there with a mantle cover. Okay. Now you've told me to read the magazine, but you've not put the magazine on the top. So I'm not sure how I'm going to achieve that. See, I told you it's not the magazine. So now you've seen what's in it. Let's have a quick look. Like robot repair. Until you read the magazine, you won't know what that is. Little streets here. Oh look, there's the magazine because that's the last thing I put in. So now I can go through some. I don't know what it all is. Pirates versus Ninjas. Apparently since 2001, according to this bit of card. But can you see it? Card. Which side are you? I am ostrich. According to this, uh, this shirt is about pirates fighting ninjas. Look. Pirates. No, ninja pirates. Also, how did pirates and ninjas meet? Because pirates were in the Caribbean fighting the British. And probably the Dutch as well. Um, oh, Beck goes through stuff that I've already screwed up. Um, do you want to play Lynch Dom Battle Mage? I don't think any of that is words. Well, there's the 50% off code. Can you see it? Go use it. Next. This is a holy hand grenade. Jeez, oh, I couldn't open it the first time. I can't open it now. Useless. Um, inside it, was this. Um, you essentially had to give him the gum, the backpack, and the halo. Here's a clip. That wasn't worth the effort. He's got the tiniest gun in the world. I don't know what he's planning on killing with this gun. Not a lot. There you are. And in that style, he's shooting like Robocop. Wasn't that great? Um, yes, there he is. So. That's Robocop there, shooting people. Next. I don't know if you can see that. Frank can't be on carry now. Um, oh yeah, this bit thing. It's a Street Fighter thing that you put around your head and you go, oh, look at me. I'm a ninja man. No. Tat. This bit I look quite interested in. Um, this is a comic, an e-comic, Sonic and Mega Man. And then the other side is a code for Steam that I am going to use for the arcade version. Arcade? Arcade version of Street Fighter Board. Apparently it's got alcohol references in this. Oh, great, I will play that. Um, next badge. Look, it's Mega Man punching Street Fighter Man. Tat. Next. This bit I quite like. It's actually proper stainless steel. Assassin Creed Unity, Liberty, Egality, Unity, and 
that on the back with a nice little purse. Uh, that will probably end up being a pantomime prop. And then I'll sell it on eBay. Next up, Fat Last. This is it. Tour through it is a Mega Man helmet. Now, I've never seen a Mega Man comic, I've never played a Mega Man game. Maybe Mega Man's just not that popular in the UK, I don't know. Maybe I've, I'm out of line. That's a helmet I stand. It's really well made. It's plastic. Don't know why I want it, but I've got it. You can see. And then this is the box. Like that, so it's this little street alleyway, and in the alleyway, if I haven't broken it, electricity substation, and I don't know what that is. And this bit, and then this bit apparently cut off, and attach it up here so it looks like a billboard. That's what you had to read the first page of the magazine about but they didn't put that at the top of the box, so how are you going to read that for everything else? Who knows? And then you've got to re if, you know, if you're sat in a park like me where the light's fading, it's very pretty, with the rumbling of the M25 behind you. But if you come to Back Park anytime soon, then the cafe's closed until Christmas, because um, they're having a refurbishment. But they have got a funfair-style burger van thing here, which is a bit expensive, but, you know, I have my lunch. So, my would I pay ten pounds for this box? Because that's what you're roughly paying if you're a UK subscriber. In fact, if you want a discount, there's a thing in the thing. I get a referral fee, so please use it. Sign up to Loot Crate. Go to the doobly doo down below. Sign up to Loot Crate. It will cost you roughly ten pounds a month. So. Would I have bought this? No, but this is probably worth £10 on its own. It's quite nicely made, but I personally wouldn't buy it. Would I have bought this? If this was a pound, maybe. Just so I could make him dance. Oh, look, he, he uh, can't dance. He can make him do all sorts. I'm a ballerina. Hand grenade. Shirt. Um, I probably wouldn't have bought this shirt on an impulse, but if I was going to buy it, again it would be eight quid. Eight British pounds sterling. Bit of card. Tat. The magazine. Tat. tat. I say tat. I do actually quite like looking through it, Luke Ray, if you are watching. This. Not an Assassin's Creed fan, but I know people who are, and they probably would pay a fiver for that. The comic I'm not going to download. Um, this. It says $20 which is £10-ish, £12. I wouldn't pay more than a few quid, but the fact I've already paid for it and it's part of the box, I will definitely be playing this. Oh, this 50% off voucher, which you can now use. No. Right, third and final take, the video cut out again. Could you tell? Uh, yep, yeah, so, blah, blah, blah. I don't remember if I told you the Assassin's Creed coin. Um, I'll probably use it as a proper pantomime. Yes, I'm in pantomime. www.ihdc.co.uk. It's a very nice coin. Um, if you're an Assassin's Creed campaign, I'm sure you'd have paid five quid for that. The badges. Stop making the badges. We haven't got a fridge magnet this month, and everyone owns a fridge or a microwave. So how about you just give us a postcard-sized fridge magnet or something? One for each box. One that's sort of a poster of the entire box or something. Oh, and this. You'd have to be a hardcore Street Fighter fan to want this. It's just a piece of red material. That's daft. Considering this box will cost you £10 a month, would I have paid £10 for it? No. But I know I, I... I probably wouldn't have bought the items in there, but I know that for £10 I've actually got a decent amount of stuff. That box is definitely worth more than a tenner. Um, if you would like your own loot crate, description down below there's a link I get a referral fee it makes more videos or means I can afford to make more videos for you um, in the meantime why not click here to see my last loop rate video click here uh, to see my last video which I believe is a series uh, in which we go to Alton Towers and you don't see Alton Towers at all it's exciting 
Um, I think the last video is called Amber is Cool. It's, it's quite a gripping video. Um, meanwhile, I was Matt Strody from a getting very dark black park on the edge of West London. There's a plane going to Norfolk. Um, I was Matt Strody. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, click my face. Until next time, go away. Right.